Despite the huge political story that is currently taking place right now, we're talking about the second impeachment of Donald Trump for those in the future who are not aware. Unfortunately, we've got some sad breaking news about Blue Sky Studios. Now, Blue Sky Studios is primarily known as the Ice Age Studio. They built their reputation and their legacy on Ice Age. Ice Age was one of those surprise hit movies. It was made for a very small amount of money and was released pretty much in the dead months of, I believe, February when it first came out and drew pretty surprisingly good reviews. A lot of box office and families really love the characters, especially Scrat, the uh, cave squirrel who just wants his little acorn. Well, Blue Sky has since made many other movies that I think are really good. In fact, if you really want to see what their work is, here's their official website. Their most recent film was Spies in Disguise, Ferdinand, uh, The Peanuts Movie. We had Rio, Epic. I kind of like Epic. Uh, Horton Hears a Who, Robots. So you see, they, and they did a lot of TV specials, and they did shorts, Bunny, um... A bunch of scrat cartoons as you can see actually bunny was a really good one that's an academy award-winning short but the most recent film was spies in disguise uh and unfortunately it's going to be their last film because disney is closing blue sky studio this is a breaking story from deadline uh exclusive disney is shuttering blue sky studio the 5.9 billion global grossing former 20th century fox animation division which during its run churned out 13 features including the ice age franchise one can say that the writing was always on the wall for blue sky especially after disney acquired 20th century studios and its assets in march 2019 however the past year has been challenging for disney on many fronts of course due to the pandemic not just on the studio side but with theme park closures and cruise lines dockings as well Sustaining a third feature animation studio was no longer viable for Disney, given the current economic realities caused by COVID. The last day for Blue Sky will be in April. The number of Blue Sky employees, sorry folks, let me dismiss that, um, are being impacted numbers 450. Disney will be working with the employees at the Greenwich, Connecticut-based animation house to explore open positions at the other internal studios. Now, right off the bat, let me tell you something that's pretty disappointing. Disney could have done another thing with this, they, especially since they're strapped for cash. They could have been like, hey, you know what? Ice Age, that's ours. Robots, that's ours. Anything that Blue Sky has made, Ferdinand, uh, Spies in the Skies, those are our films. However, in the interest of preserving jobs during this difficult time, we are going to attempt to sell the studio whether to another studio or maybe the employees at the studio themselves might buy their independence back who knows there could have been a way to do this without actually losing jobs but of course disney is disney and while they're and we're going to look at their comment in a minute they're going to act like well look this was just the economic reality the thing is they could have offered to sell the studio first and kept the ip but the thing is that wouldn't be in disney's best interest they of course want to have a keep their grip on the domination of the animation market and one of the things they bought when they bought 20th century fox they bought competitors and so hey look we're going to either own that competitor or we're going to shut you down but you will not compete against us let's continue this article a studio spokesperson told deadline given the current economic realities after much consideration and evaluation we have made the difficult decision to close filmmaking operations at blue sky studios again you could have sold it off the blue skies library and ip will remain part of disney course and there are no plans i hear for another major studio to absorb blue skies employees and operations a series based on blue skies ice age characters is already in the works for disney plus and you couldn't let them develop that through five movies the ice age series grossed 3.2 billion at the global box office production on the patrick osborne directed nimona which is dated for January 14th, 2020, is being stopped and the film will no longer be released. So that's probably just going to become vaporware. Deadline has learned. Nimona had 10 months of production still left to complete. Now, why didn't Disney at the very least let them finish that one? Hey, you got 10 months. Finish this movie for us. During that time, we offer the studio up for sale. And this could have 
there are so many ways Disney's could have played this where it couldn't have hurt as much. You got one more movie out of them for Disney Plus or the theaters because they'd probably be open by then. I don't know why they didn't do any of that, but I think it had... I don't think Disney was ever truly interested in Blue Sky Studios. They just happened to get them with 20th Century Fox. And they knew that, hey, we've got Pixar, we've got Disney feature animation. Like, why on earth are we going to keep Blue Sky around? So, um, the last Blue Sky release, Spies in the Skies, was distributed by Disney in December. However, it didn't do so well, grossing $66 million at the domestic box office and $171 million worldwide. The hope was that the Will Smith Tom Holland animated pick would spur a franchise. Well... In all fairness, even if it did do well, in my opinion, this would not have helped. I think Disney uh, was intent on shutting this studio down. Because again, like I said, they didn't even do the route that would have at least gained them some money. What they wanted to do was, hey, we don't need three animation studios that, you know, I mean, we could have them make movies for Disney Plus, but we just don't need three animation studios. And we don't want someone else to have them because they turn into a competitor at that point. So... We're just going to shutter them. Now, the sad thing about this is that, uh, honestly, it's not like this was super surprising. This article written by Cartoon Brew on December 15th, 2017, this was pretty much four years ago. Um, the headline is, after Disney Fox deal, will Blue Sky Studios and Fox Animation continue to exist? And the highlight of this is a tweet by Ice Age Collision Course director Michael Thurmeyer, who tweets this picture of him in a scrat suit, and he says, so many complicated feelings today. And keep in mind, the deal wasn't even completed at this point. Disney had not purchased Fox, and in fact, I believe that, you know, Comcast was even in the bidding, bidding wars for Fox. But, as you can see, even back then, Blue Sky Studios knew, like, hey, once we become part of Disney, unless Spies in Disguise does really well, which, again, I personally don't think it would have made much of a difference if Scott Spies in Disguise had done well. I think they would have shut them anyway. They kind of knew that they were redundant. I mean, and look, as good as their films are, and some of them are good. Again, let's look back. Um, Let's see here. I like Spies in Disguise, like Ferdinand, like the Peanuts movie. Uh, I kind of do like Epic. I like Rio. Uh, I like these these two Ice Age movies, the Dawn of the Dinosaurs and the first one. I like Horton Hears a Who, and I kind of like Robots. You know, these aren't classic, classic movies, but, you know, they're pretty good. I, I enjoy them. But are they as good as Finding Nemo and Toy Story 4? Are they as good as Soul and Inside Out? Are they as good as Frozen and Moana and Zootopia? Mm, probably not. And so they knew the writing was on the wall. Now, here's something that could happen. It doesn't seem like most of these animators will be, you know, given new positions at Disney Studios. And you know that companies like Netflix and Sony have been honing in on animation. They see that there's a lot of money, so one of those studios might pick up these animators and these directors and they might even try to buy like that uh, Nomura, Nomura or Numura, whatever it was called, project. This might not technically be the end of Blue Sky Studios. Now, it might be rebirthed under a different name um, that just happens sometimes. Uh, many people don't realize that Leica used to be Will Vinton Studios, the guy who did the California Raisin shorts and the adventures of mark twain um he, he that used to be his studio and unfortunately some stuff went down and he got ousted but they rebranded and relaunched as Leica, and Leica has done some very amazing things now it's a shame that disney does not seem to be investing in animation the way that they used to it's a shame that this happens we kind of knew it was coming unfortunately um my hope is that after this like once they're let go in April. Hopefully, Netflix or Sony or, you know, I, see, that's a problem. Without Fox, a major competitor is down the, the tube. Um, maybe Ardman, maybe some of the, one of these studios will pick up some of these people and some of these projects. Who knows? It's, it, it is a sad day, though. It did not need to go down this way. Of course, Disney could have handled it better, but the bottom line is they just 
they just don't care i mean and to put things into even more perspective if disney has no problem laying off like 40,000 cast members at their theme parks which was their money machine until covid hit they're not going to think twice about letting go 450 employees who made a movie that didn't even hit the 200 million dollar mark worldwide they're just not going to care but that said i would like to know what all of you think about this does this news bum you out or do you does it not bother you that much what do you think is going to happen with the animators and the directors and the story people what do you think is going to happen to all of them when this is all said and done do you hope that they rebirth as a new studio and make something that just kicks disney's butt in retaliation i don't know i would love to know what you think though comment below like favorite share subscribe and as always flame responsibly have a good one